Hey guys, the title of the video says it all, but I will still reiterate what this is all about. Today, we'll be talking about 6 browser extensions slash apps that a student like me, hello, might need for school and productivity. And a short disclaimer, no promotional activities will happen in this segment. All of the words that will be thrown are purely about the app itself and how it helped me with school stuff. So let's start with the first browser extension, Forest. Forest is a free browser extension that helps you put yourself in a productive mindset. The extension features two modes. The first one is the allow list mode, where you can put websites that you allow to operate while the timer is running. And the second is block list mode. Oh boy, this is the best feature that this extension has to offer. It lets you put websites that are distracting on your end and once you open a website that is on block this mode, it will notify you that your tree is still growing, you are still in productivity mode, and maybe manage to escape the site unless you want your virtual tree to die. <laughs> It helped me a lot in my studies, especially during grind days, since it avoids me to open websites that are considered as distracting and therefore continues the flow of getting the zone. I recommend you download the mobile app version of this extension, although it's not free, but it will be a good investment for your personal and academic. Next, let's talk about Read Aloud, which is a text-to-speech voice reader. To simply explain this, this is an extension created for people who want to listen to what they want to read. What you'll do is highlight the text you want to listen and read aloud will read them for you. Make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. It's super convenient to use especially when you are making your research paper and just want to listen to a portion of the review of related literature you have found on the internet instead of just switching tabs simultaneously. There are also a lot of voices that you can choose from. You can also adjust the speed depending on your preference, pitch, and volume. This extension is completely free, so utilize it for the sake of your academic spirit. When you want your opening new tab experience to have a bit of spice, then I recommend you use Momentum. This is a new tab browser extension that supports your motivation spirit and productivity mindset. There are a lot of features that this extension offers, so let's delve into it one by one. First, you can put your main focus on this plan, which might be considered your number one priority that you need to accomplish for the day. In connection with the first feature, you can also add your other tasks on the side and check them up once finished. Second, it displays a beautiful and pleasing to the eyes background and automatically changes every single day. You can also put links as bookmarks in the top left corner for you to easily access the most important websites that you often visit. There is also a search bar beside the link button where you can search with different search engines. It displays the time in the middle and provides you with motivational quotes at the bottom of this new tab extension. Momentum is free to use, but if you want to unlock its premium features, then you might want to consider using your money to try it for yourself. This next extension is practically essential to all students, especially when you write your academic research paper and need to cite all of the references on the last page of your output. To assist your needs to avoid plagiarism, my bib is here to the rescue. This extension is completely free to use, just need to click my bib citation generator from the website you have found for your paper, wait for it to load, and Voila! Just click to copy the generated citation and paste it into your document. You can also change the style of the citation by clicking Change Style and scrolling down until you find the desired style that suits your needs. So students, this extension is highly recommended. I miss my cafe, not that I am answering in front of you that I literally miss a cafe, but I Miss My Cafe is the name itself. It is not a browser extension though, but a chill study website. If you want a barista talking while writing your paper, then simply play it in the background. Or if you prefer a rainy day mood while coffee cups are rambling around, then click that play button and start working. If you opt out to use the main feature of this website, there is also an embedded playlist on the side for you to utilize instead. Plus, you can also toggle dark mode if you want it to look dark and vice versa. I don't know if you love this kind of vibe in your studying journey, but 
If you are, then I will put the link in the description below for you to check it out. And last but not least, the app that the majority of the study community talks about is Notion. I am not going to dig deeper about this. There are a lot of videos out there that advertise this app, but I wanted to highlight that Notion will definitely change your life. It acts as a productivity tool wherein you can input and manage pretty much your entire life. You can plan, take notes, record, manage a project, and keep track of your deadlines, assignments, and everything under the sun. If you don't want to create your own Notion setup, there are millions of templates you can find on the internet, and maybe you can just tweak some of the parts of it depending on your taste. This is free to use, but if you have an official university email account and want to experience its pro features at zero cost, then use it to register an account until further notice. And that is everything for today's video. I hope you found this video interesting, informative, and helpful. If you like to see student-related content like this one, I post about that on my channel, so be sure to keep posted. And if you'd like to receive updates about my future content and photos in my paper notes, I provide them all on my Instagram account at studyloscope. Anyways, I will see you at the next one. Oh honey, what song?